Hey guys, I am sharing a travel vlog today after a very, very long time. It was a super busy few months and this short trip to the beautiful Santa Rosa was very welcoming. Our first stop was Bird and the Bottle. Beautiful ambience with really fun decor. It was sunny and very nice and warm, so we chose to sat outside. The menu was so interesting, filled with varieties, and everything we ordered turned out absolutely delicious. I mentioned in description below everything we tried there uh, with detail, you can have a look. Now typically after eating so much, we skip dessert, but my husband is a big fan of pumpkin based dessert and he just couldn't resist the pumpkin pie sundae. He loved it and so did our son. It was really very tasty. So we checked in finally and rested for a while before heading out for dinner. Now if it was home we would have probably skipped dinner after having that heavy lunch but this Thai restaurant called Si Thai Bistro had amazing review and we love Thai food. The platter that we ordered was amazing. Everything was spot on, tasty. The cocktail was a little disappointing for us as it was not very comforting to sip from that bowl. And it was meant for two, but they said they couldn't have divided it um, into two cups. So anyways, the food was very tasty and that was really nice. And I have listed the dishes that we tried again in description below. Now next day early morning, we headed out for the safari ride. It was a short 20 minutes drive from the hotel. It's super cold. It was very, very cold that day. It was a great experience and Avian absolutely loved it, especially the close encounters we had with the ostrich and the giraffe. He had so many questions for our guide and she was very sweet to answer all of them very patiently. I have also given in description below the link uh, to this place if you want to book for a safari ride it's it's uh, roughly three hours early morning and it got over by 12 and it is a very nice and interesting safari ride a small one and kids I'm sure would love it
Uh, the safari place had cafeterias and lunch buffet option as well that we could book in advance but we wanted to try this burger joint called Super Burger that Arvind read about and it's supposed to be a 70 year old burger stand with a dining counter and it had outdoor tables and the day was beautiful so it was very nice to sit outside and enjoy that burger. So back in hotel, we rested for a while, took a quick nap, and then we headed out to experience wood fire pizza at a very famous local restaurant. The vibe was amazing. It was so family oriented, so friendly, and it was packed for weeknight. We had to order burrata, our favorite. The flatbread was so light and everything together was amazing. We actually ordered more pizza than we could eat, but we wanted to try a few flavors, so we just went with it. They also had Italian donut, which were just melting in mouth delicious, piping hot, as you can see, and they were really, really very tasty. Happiness is watching your little one make coffee for you while you're still lazing in bed, right? It was time to go home. And before that, our last stop was at Jeffrey Hillside Cafe for brunch. They, they open at 8 a.m. and close at 1.30 and we read amazing review and definitely we, we all love breakfast food so I had to check it out. Avian went for his favorite French toast with a little too much syrup drizzled on top. Arvind ordered this Tex-Mex scramble. It was a little spicy for me, but he loved it. It was still very, very tasty. I ordered bacon and Brussels sprouts hash, which I'm definitely going to try remake at home. It was so tasty. I, I still remember how nice and warm it was with the blue cheese aioli dressing. It was so good and I ate it all. And that's how our short trip ended. It was so nice. My husband makes amazing plan for all these restaurants to go so I don't have to worry at all. I ate a lot and <laughs> it was a good break.